In this video, we'll learn about the parental control. You can add account of your kids to your PC and you can give them access limited or restricted. Even if you're not with your kids, what they are browsing, what they're using, what they're downloading, it's difficult to keep a track. But with Windows 10 operating system, this feature is available, that is parental control. You can keep a track of what he's browsing. You can keep a track of how many hours he's using his PC. Also, what things he's downloading, what things he's not able to take it, what he should not be able to take it. Let us see that. So that is parental control. You should be a person, you should be an adult to add a kid to your account. Let us see that. So first I'll go to this Windows and then I'll go to this place as change account settings. I'll click on this change account settings after clicking on this. And then you see there's an option given as family and other people. So you can add a family and other people at this place. You can say yes, add a family member. And I want to add a family member to my place. So it will ask you add, add a child or add an adult. So I'll say yes, add a child. It says enter their email address. So suppose if they don't have an email address, if they have, you can just enter. If they don't have, you can select the person I want to add doesn't have an email address. So I'll just click on this option. And then after that, it will ask you to create an Outlook account. That's a Microsoft account. And say it will give an email ID, password and date of birth. So what you can do is you can type some email ID, but you have to keep on using more permutation combinations. So I'll enter some email ID. I'll type here as tutorials point one two three this email id i've used i'll click on this place i have already checked this was available I, i've tried multiple combination permutations and after that you can use a password you cannot use any password and press enter because it says it should be eight characters containing two of the following uppercase lowercase numbers and symbols so what i'll do is i'll add a password here as tutorials okay the password is given here and then I'll select the month that's May and I'll select the day as five and I'll say as the child is of 2009 and click on this next button. So after that, it says, do you want to add a phone number? I'll say, I don't want to add a phone number. I want to add an alternate email ID and I'll use my email ID itself. And my email ID would be at hotmail.com and I'll click on next. See what's more relevant. You can see these options and directly click on this next part. Okay. They'll be sending promotional offers and everything not required. So just click on this next and you can see as close. Observe what is the message. Join your family as a child. Microsoft family manager account. So I'll see as close. It came into the notification. Even if it goes away, no need to worry. Click on this place and it says join your family as an account at this time. So I'll just click on this place. So who is the person? This is the person. Tutorials point one to three and that's a child account. So once you click on this place, it says change account type from child. You can see as from administrator, you can change it or you can block the account. Manage family settings online. That means if you want to manage something, how many hours, what websites, what you should be able to download and so on. Let us see. Manage family settings online. So if I click on this place, it will take me online to this place. And then if you want to manage the account, you should first sign in and uh, uh, the already account which I've used for signing, I'll show you the account there. I'll just minimize first. Yeah, this is my info that is pavanlalwani at hotmail.com. That means I'll log in with by this account and I can manage that account, manage my kids account. So I'll go back to this place and I'll put the email ID at hotmail.com. Next, I'll not give you the password and I'll say yes, sign in. Now, once I click on this sign in, I can manage activities of my kid or there might be multiple in this place. Okay, here it says your family, children's, there are two accounts which are given. And if you see tutorials point, that's a new account which is added and check the recent activity. You can check your recent activity of your kid. And next is purchase and spending screen time, web browsing, app scheme, everything you can keep a track. So let us see if I click on this check recent activity, you can keep a track on your kid. Activity reporting that is given as on, okay. And email weekly reports to me. So every week you'll get a 
you know weekly reports what he has seen from and then collected from this windows 10 pcs and mobiles everywhere whatever is using and the details so web browsing when your child browser website they'll appear here if he logins to some website any website it will come here all the apps games will be given here they'll appear here screen time when your child uses this device it will show here how many hours he has used what uh, duration he has used everything so let us see these are the things if you say web browsing if you say web browsing it will give you the details here i'll always allow this type enter the url of a website you want to so you can enter facebook or gmail or whatever you want you can add to this place let's say i'll add here as facebook.com suppose and if i click on this allow button so this website is allowed to always block this type of if i say if i want to block google.com and if i say it says always block this type of websites so you don't have to worry you just keep on adding the email you know urls so it will uh, understand what things has to be allowed and what things has to be blocked here same way if you see apps games and media which games he should download which games he should play which apps he should download block inappropriate apps and games that is on applies to all these platforms xbox windows pc windows phone everywhere child can buy and then download or stream contents from stores in windows and operating system that is seven year old because i have given the age there so seven year old things he can download and everything he can do it right blocked apps and games so whatever games are you want to make to block you can use it here itself next is screen time this is very important when there are exams and everything you want your kid to study a lot waste less time or you can say invest less time on using your computer then you can say a screen time you say set limits from when my child can use the devices so i'll come here you can show you so these are the timings it is unlimited by default so what you can do is you can say on sunday he should be able to use only for two and a half hours two and a half hours he can be able to use and that's the timing which is given here so if you click here start timing and end timing he should be able to use from 12 30 end timing if you say it should be i'll say as three o'clock and sunday time limits these are given here and you can say as add close so see two and a half hours are given and these are the timings by which you can use it so you can just keep on changing here monday so if i say monday he should be able to use 30 minutes okay and here you can change the timings you can select here start timing should be this much end timing and monday time limits so and so you can keep on adding here so i'll say 12 30 to he should be able to use till one o'clock 1 a.m and i can say yes monday time limits add and close so he'll be able to use only this much time at this place green color and you can remove from this place i'll say he should not be able to use this one remove close so you see in this entire period he's only able to use 30 minutes from there also you can change i have added i think by mistake here so i'll close it and i can click on close so on this sunday he'll not be able to use uh, two and a half hours so you can add the timing here so you can click at this place you can say 12 30 to two and a half hours means 3 a.m and i can click on this add it's three i think yeah add and then you can click on this close part close so some time you can give access to your you know kid and this unlimited time you can change and whatever is highlighted in the blue color that is the only access time he has been given at this particular duration itself apart from this he'll not be able to use it right so these are the things screen times same way purchasing and spending you can keep a track what things he has purchased what things he should not be able to purchase and then all the options right and finally once you have done it once you have done you can just click on this close from the web browser or else you can just sign out from your place on the top you can click on this place and you can say sign out and you'll be signed out from your account and then you can click on close so these settings will be applied to your family and other members in your tutors point so that is manage family settings that is easy and best way to keep a track on your kid what things he should be able to browse and what timings he should be able to use it right so i hope you're able to understand what is parental control and is the best features in windows 10 operating system that's all for this video